Have you ever dared to question the accepted truth, going against the tide to discover new realms of knowledge? Welcome back to AI Historic Expeditions. This is the last episode of our special series on the giants of the Italian Renaissance. So far, we have delved into the lives of Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Machiavelli. Today, we'll be exploring the life of a man who dared to look up and question the heavens themselves, Galileo Galilei. Galileo was born on February 15, 1564, in Pisa, Italy. The first of six children of Vincenzo Galilei, a lutenist, composer, and music theorist, and Giulia Amanati. His early years were filled with music, and he himself became an accomplished lutenist, inheriting a spirit of skepticism for established authority from his father. Despite their intellectual pedigree, the Galilei family struggled with financial difficulties. Young Galileo was initially sent to the Camaldolese Monastery at Vallombrosa, near Florence, to be educated with the prospect of becoming a monk. However, Vincenzo decided against this religious pathway for his son and instead chose to enroll him at the University of Pisa to study medicine in 1580. But as fate would have it, Galileo's interests lay elsewhere. On a fateful day, during a service at the cathedral in Pisa, his attention was drawn not to the sermon, but to a swinging chandelier from the ceiling. The constant rhythm of the pendulum fascinated Galileo. This simple observation sparked in him a curiosity that would lead him to abandon his medical studies and devote himself to mathematics and physics. Galileo's life took an interesting turn when he was appointed as a professor of mathematics at the University of Pisa in 1589. It was here that he began to challenge Aristotle's physics, particularly the then accepted truth that heavier objects fall faster than lighter ones. His bold defiance of the traditional thinking led him to carry out what is now famously known as the Tower of Pisa experiment. The story goes that Galileo dropped two spheres of different masses from the tower, demonstrating that they hit the ground simultaneously, debunking Aristotle's belief. Galileo's thirst for knowledge was insatiable. In 1609, he heard of a device called a spyglass, which could magnify distant objects. Inspired, Galileo constructed his own version, thus creating one of the first telescopes. His observations led him to discover the moons of Jupiter, the phases of Venus, the sunspots, and the rugged surface of the moon, evidence that contradicted the then-believed perfect celestial spheres. Galileo's assertion of Copernican heliocentrism, the idea of Earth rotating daily and revolving around the sun, sparked opposition from the Catholic Church and some astronomers. In 1615, the Roman Inquisition concluded that heliocentrism contradicted Holy Scripture, labeling it foolish, absurd, and heretical. Defending his views in dialogue concerning the two chief world systems in 1632, Galileo antagonized Pope Urban VIII and the Jesuits. Consequently, he was tried by the Inquisition, found vehemently suspect of heresy, forced to recant his beliefs, and sentenced to house arrest for the remainder of his life. Despite these tribulations, Galileo's unwavering spirit prevailed. During his house arrest, he wrote two new sciences, dealing with kinematics and the strength of materials. Galileo also made remarkable contributions to engineering. His creation of a geometric and military compass proved invaluable for gunners and surveyors. His work on the motions of bodies provided a foundation for the classical mechanics later developed by Isaac Newton. Galileo passed away on January 8, 1642, at age 77. Although initially buried in a small room due to church opposition, his remains were moved to the main body of the Basilica of Santa Croce in Florence in 1737, marking his overdue recognition. Galileo's life serves as a reminder that progress often requires challenging established norms, and as he himself said, in questions of science, the authority of a thousand is not worth the humble reasoning of a single individual. <laughs>